Yemen no longer allowing the United States to fight terror on the ground in their country. The Mideast nation angry about a raid targeting senior al-Qaeda militants last week, approved by President Trump, that resulted in the death of a number of civilians. Among those killed, the eight-year-old daughter of this man, this is radical cleric Anwar al-Awlaki. Ralph Peters is a Fox News strategic analyst. He joins us now. What do you think of this situation now? What's your take? Well, there are, there are several parts of this, Melissa. And the first thing I want to make very, very clear to, to all your viewers is that military operations of this nature, special operations raids, are very, very tough. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of moving parts. The enemy's shooting at you. They don't all go perfectly. Hollywood's given us this image of flawless special ops. Now, these are human beings doing really tough stuff. This raid uh, was, was not a failure, but it didn't have the great success for which they'd hoped, and a SEAL was killed. In warfare, people get killed. We're sorry it ever happens to our guys, but that's war. So that's part one. Uh, part two, the Yemeni government, I believe, in temper, in, in banning U.S. special ops raids for the present, is simply playing to their population. You know, it's, it's, it's local politics. They're not stopping our drone attacks. They're not stopping intelligence and other support. And I think in time, uh, quietly we'll be doing special opera operations raids again. And, and hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll go a bit better next time. But I, the bottom line here is it's unfair to expect perfection in yeah. war. This, this is a quote from a Brussels-based humanitarian organization on the U.S. operations in Yemen. They say, the use of U.S. soldiers' high civilian casualties in disregard for local tribal and political dynamics plays into AQAP's narrative of defending Muslims against the West and could increase anti-U.S. sentiment and with it, a QAP's pool of recruits. This is always the argument. This is the International Crisis yeah. Group on it, Thursday. It's it always is. the argument. And, and, but I think this is really a local Yemeni problem. Yemen is a failed state, and it's going to continue to be a failed state. We have to go after the leadership of al-Qaeda, of ISIS, and other groups, wherever we find them. And, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a tricky dance to do it. And, Melissa, if I may add one more thing about this. Um, you know, the, the media are blaming President Trump for the failure of this raid. That is a stretch. He is no more responsible for the difficulties, not failure, but the difficulties of this raid than Obama was responsible mm. for the SEAL success against bin Laden. Presidents aren't on the ground fighting. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's about the guys with the guns. So, so that's the argument from one side. On the other side, the concern is that if, if we leave, doesn't it create that same vacuum where you can see terrorists come in and really set up shop? Well, of course it does. Um, but also an advantage, and I'm also reluctant to talk about it, is when the terrorists think you're not there, when they're confident you're not watching, they tend to come out in the open and it's actually easier to target them. Remember, oh. this does not ban our drone strikes. It's only banning special operations on the ground. In other words, we can't go in with helicopters, offload troops, and, and kill them with direct fire weapons. But the Yemenis are, the Yemenis are perfectly willing to let us kill them with drone strikes mm. because um, Al-Qaeda is their enemy, too. I mean, Yemen is such an indescribable mess. And, oh, by the way, the entire country is running out of water that it's just not fixable. So we have to put our interests first. But to do so, we have to do the dance yeah. with the local authorities.